Hello developers, my name is Tyler Potts and in this video we're going to be taking a step back from all this uh, this crazy few react and stuff. We're going to be doing some more vanilla JavaScript and we're going to be doing some lazy loading images. So this technique is super useful in so many different ways you don't understand. And it, this technique I'm about to show you is using something called the intersection observer. And what that does is basically allows you to observe elements on your page and check when they're being in or they're intersecting the like page or your viewport so when you scroll them into view as you can see here we've got a homer image and this guy this is my lazy image but um because it's it's homer being lazy sorry um yes so it's my lazy image and as i scroll you'll see once it becomes fully in view you can change this as well to make say if it's only in 50 percent view if it's there if it's only as soon as it just comes in view to start loading this but as you can see it lazy loaded this image and if we keep scrolling as you see as this image now gets in view bam this one has lazy loaded again you can see it in the console log here so this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do and you can use this to not just lazy load images you can use to lazy load videos lazy loads other of, of things and this will make the performance off your website 10 times better So let's bring that over there and now let's clear this. Let's, um, I don't know why I did that. There was nothing too clear. Let's make a new direction. We'll call this uh, lazy images. CD into lazy images. Oh, that's not what I meant. And then we're gonna say code dot. And this is gonna open it up in Visual Studio Code for me. So you can open this up in whatever text editor you like. So let's load this up. And this this is a very easy thing to do. It's not hard at all. We're using image obs, um, intersection observer, which is actually quite new. It's modern. It's um, it's hip. <laughs> um, so let's say index.html, and then in here we're just going to start with a boilerplate. Oh, we've got this boilerplate code here. So we're going to just write, write. Let's say lazy loading in the um, in the title. We're going to say we're going to actually use a style tag for this. We're not going to bother creating a whole style file. But we are going to create a script file and we're going to just call it main.js for now. We, I'd probably call it lazy loading, but that's fine. And what we're going to do here is we're going to basically create a couple of elements. We're going to create a h1 just to add some padding essentially. So we're going to say lady loading images. We're then going to have two images. So we're going to say image times two. Actually, well, we will say image with the class of lazy times two. Um, so... The first one, we're just going to give it a source of lazy underscore image.jpg. So we need a default image. Uh, we won't use alt. And then in the second one, we're going to give it the same lazy underscore image.jpg. Again, we don't need an alt class. Well, I'm going to break this onto the separate lines. Okay, so these on their own aren't going to lazy load any images. Obviously, we're going to need some JavaScript and we're also going to need some other bits. Just quickly, I am going to uh, start a server. So under here, I'm going to open up my integrated terminal by pressing um, Control alt t And then in here, I'm going to run live hyphen surfer dot and live hyphen live surfer is actually a npm package so to install that you need to say npm dash g i live hyphen surfer hit enter and that will install you live surface you can then run live surfer dot and this just gives us a local surfer as you can see here that with no images because we need to actually get the images so let's actually shrink this down we'll have it like a mobile um let's bring that up cool so let's go into our file structure and let's actually go get some images. So I have some images here. I'm just going to copy them. And then here I'm just going to right click and paste. There you go. So we've got lazy image, which is Homer, as you can see here. Um, and then we've got the rest. So in here, let's just quickly style this up. So we're going to give it a margin of zero, a padding of zero. I hope we're zoomed in enough because this is, we're zoomed in quite a line. People keep saying, even though I'm zoomed in this size, it's not enough. And I'm like, but it's so zoomed in. It's like holding my eyes zoomed in. Uh, body, do we need a body? We don't think we need to style the body to be honest. Um, there's nothing really we can style with that. So 
we'll just remove that. We'll give it the H1. We'll give it a color of like 313131 for uh, no particular reason. We'll give it a font size of like 60 pixels. Again, this all just for padding so it doesn't, uh, so our images don't starve on the page. We'll give it a margin bottom of 100 pixels and a margin top of the same. We'll then get our images and we'll go, we'll say dot lazy. We're going to display these as block. We're going to give them a width of 640 pixels, a margin of zero, auto 100 pixels. And I'm actually going to give them a max width of that, but I'm going to give them a width of 100%. And then I'm going to give them, well, that's it actually. So we refresh, as you can see, these are the images. We've got two separate images there and they don't load straight away. So let's actually bring them slightly down. That's probably as far as big as we can get this. Nice. So now we've got these. We actually, so we, as you saw earlier, we imported two other images, image underscore one and image underscore two. Now we need to access those when we actually lazy load these images. And to do that, we need to create a data attribute. A data attribute allows you to get data which you put in HTML into JavaScript. So in here, we're going to say image underscore dot jpeg, And for the second one, we're going to say image dot two. So we'll give them the same names here. And this is the source we're going to use to replace this source. So we've loaded this, um, let's say low, um, low file size image. And now we want to load a high res once you've actually scrolled it into view. So let's create a new file. It's going to be called uh, main.js and this is where we're about to start doing all the fun stuff so this is actually a very easy thing to do we're just going to say const observer and we're going to set that equal to a new intersection observer now an intersection observer takes in can take in two parameters it can take in a callback so for example we're going to say um, the image observer and then we can have in options so let's actually go above here and create an options and in here we can have a couple of things but the one we're going to be using today is fresh hold and what fresh hold does is it means how far down this do we have to be this image how how far from the bottom does it have to be in the screen before it actually loads and in our case, we could say like 0 0.8, which means we only have to be 80%. The image only has to be 80% in view. Or we can give it a 1, a 0, which means it can it'll load straight away. We could say 0 0.1, which means it will load when we get to 10%. But we are just going to say 1 for this um, tutorial. So it means we have to be fully on the screen. So normally, you'd probably go for something like 0 0.5. Um, cause 0 0.5 means like the image is pretty much in view at that point and you want to start loading a new image, but for now we're going to do that. So we're also going to create a function called image observer, and this is going to take in two parameters. The first one is going to be entries and the second one is going to be, we're going to pass back the image observer, or this one's going to be the image observer. The reason we're passing back the image observer, or we could probably just call this observer again. It doesn't really matter. But the reason we're doing that is because we're going to need to use, um, we're going to need to reuse um, observer because we're going to want to unobserve our images. And I explain why later on. So before we do anything in the image observer, we need to get access to all our images. So we're going to say images.document.query selector all and we're going to say image dot lazy so any image with the class of lazy will be lazy loaded so we're going to say images dot for each we're going to loop through them all um, we're actually going to use an arrow function so we're going to say for each image oh we want to do this and we're going to say observer so the name of our observer dot observe and then we're going to pass through that image so now this is now listening for this image and in here we can say for each or entry, sorry, dot for each. So entries is all of the observed items. And we're going to say for each, and then we're going to say, or for this one, we'll say entry. We're going to then pass back through um, the entry. Now if we console.log 
entry and let's open up our page oh our javascript you can see we get a few entries and this is what we get we get uh root bounds so the bounds um which i believe is the bounds of the image the bounding client rep which is the same i'm pretty sure and um, we also get is intersect and what is is intersecting means is is it um so actually this one's true because this one is this image here but this image is still false i'm not sure i think that's because it's the first one so that's image down there so yeah so is intersecting means is it inside the um, viewport or is visible which i'm not sure but so now if we actually let's widen this a little let's close that shrink that widen it a little and open that nice so now we've got the console entry we can actually say we need to actually check we only want to run this if the entry dot is intersecting so we only want to run we only want to do something if it's actually in the viewport and or is intersecting the page and then what we want to do is we want to get the image which could go be entry dot target we then want to get the image source and that is equal to image dot data set dot source so what we set in here the data source is actually going to be now pulled through to this image source because we're using data set um, and then we're just going to quickly console dot log lazy loading and then we're going to pass through the image with lazy loading we're going to do this again but this time i'm going to pop this out because it's a bit it's a bit annoying uh, it's on the wrong side so let's refresh this page and as i scroll this fully into view it says lazy loading this image and when we carry on scrolling it'll then say oh now we're lazy loading this image so that's perfect so now we just need to say image dot source is equal to image underscore underscore source so as soon as we are now oh as you can see it's worked let's refresh the page so as you can see now we are um so we're getting this image and now we're changing the image's source to be the source we've we're going to lazy load but because this image is obviously a bigger images we didn't want it to block our rendering of our html so we're going to lazy load it's so as you scroll as soon as it becomes in view you can see it's now perfectly in view but as you scroll again you can see now it's there so if we change this threshold to like 0 0.5 and hit save, you'll see this one automatically loads because it's already over 50%, but this one still hasn't loaded yet. So as I scroll, you can see it only takes about half of the image to be in before it starts loading, which is normally better. Obviously for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using a whole percent. So again, it lazy loads the images in and that is it. That is all you need to do for this. But one issue you're going to have is every single time you scroll up and down your page, you're gonna be lazy loading the image. It's gonna try and recreate the source. And that is gonna have a massive toll on the performance of your website, especially if you start like for Instagram, for example, if you add loads of images and you constantly refresh and refreshed, it's gonna reload that image or rerun this code every single time. You don't want that. Once your image is loaded in the page, you just wanna keep it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say observer.unobserve and then we're going to pass through the image and now if we hit save and we go back up we re let's refresh the page let's make sure we have our code open so now as we scroll you can see it says lazy load and if we scroll down again we've got the second one but now if we go back up and back down you can see it doesn't it doesn't get called again which is perfect because that is what we want we only want it to be called once so that is how you lazy load images. Now you can do this with videos, you can lazy load videos, you can lazy load anything you want really. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you learned something new and you haven't even subscribed yet, what are you doing? Subscribe right now so learn something new every single day for the whole of January, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Hit that thumbs up button. Just comment loads of random stuff you want to comment. Banana is my favorite, so I'll like it and heart it if you comment banana. Thanks for watching this video guys and peace. 
Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'm a